several people have asked me this question that if they do have a thyroid disorder does that increase their chances of getting diabetes mellitus so the answer to that question is that yes that does increase your chances but you can do certain things to reduce your chances of getting diabetes and that's what i'm going to talk about in today's video hello everybody i am dr anshul gupta i am a functional medicine expert i help people reverse their chronic diseases so if you do have a thyroid disorder that does increase your chances of getting diabetes mellitus and research proves that there was a research study done that 30% of people who are suffering from a thyroid disorder they also get diagnosed with diabetes mellitus some point in their life now let us first understand that why having a thyroid disorder increase your chances of getting diabetes so what is diabetes so diabetes is a condition where your body cannot process all that extra sugar that is going around in your body so that comes out as high sugar levels the most common reason of diabetes is that either our body is not able to produce enough insulin or our body is becoming insulin resistant the type 2 diabetes which is the most common form of diabetes in that condition insulin resistance is the number one reason now thyroid hormone actually increases the chances of insulin resistance especially people who have hypothyroid or hashimotos it was seen that their body cells were becoming resistant to insulin so the insulin actually goes to your cells in your body and helps your sugar to enter those cells and that's the way the sugar can be processed now when your thyroid hormone is low then the insulin cannot bind to the cells and that's the reason the sugar cannot enter the cell and it it rotates around in your blood stream and that's the reason it causes insulin resistance so that's the major reason of thyroid causing diabetes mellitus the second thing what happens in thyroid is that now thyroid is a metabolic hormone what that means is that thyroid is able to burn calories or burn sugar in your body now when you have low thyroid or when you have hashimotos your body is not able to burn enough calories or burn sugar all that extra sugar again is rotating in your body and that again leads to diabetes mellitus the third thing which thyroid hormone causes or in hashimotos is happening is underlying inflammation now this inflammation is responsible for destruction of your pancreas now the pancreas are the organ which are responsible for producing insulin so if this inflammation affects the pancreas your pancreas are not able to produce enough insulin and that again leads to the diabetes mellitus the last reason is that thyroid hormone affects a different hormone in your body which is called adiponectin now what is adiponectin adiponectin is a chemical which is secreted by your fat cells in your body it was seen that the lower the level of adiponectin the higher the chances of diabetes mellitus several medication are in research to target this adiponectin so they can increase the levels and it was shown at least in initial research that it can help diabetes patients so in patients with thyroid disorders or in hashimotos this adiponectin is reduced and that again leads to the formation of diabetes mellitus so you see these are all mechanisms that thyroid disorders lead to diabetes mellitus over the course of time but don't be disheartened if you do have a thyroid disorder doesn't mean that you are going to get diabetes mellitus if you are going to follow certain things you can prevent it the very first thing is your diet so several foods hurt your thyroid and increase the chances of diabetes so those foods are obviously sugary foods you need to stay away from gluten dairy you need to stay away from all those things including honey jaggery agave those are all bad for your thyroid and for your diabetes mellitus so stay away from them food which are good for people with diabetes and thyroid are lot of green leafy vegetables non starchy vegetables so eat them a lot even a lot of fruits have sugar in them so you need to stay away from them also so as i said diet is very important so you need to follow this diet which is low in glycemic index and is also anti inflammatory 
The second thing is exercising. Exercising has shown to improve insulin resistance and also improves insulin sensitivity of your cells. So it is very important to exercise on the regular basis. What kind of exercise? Now we have cardio, then we have strength training, then we have high intensity exercising. All of those are good. But generally, if you do a mix of cardio and strength training that has shown to be the most beneficial in preventing diabetes, as well as for thyroid patients. So that's the one that I will recommend to you. The third thing, there are certain supplements which can be helpful for preventing diabetes and also improving insulin resistance. Some of those supplements are chromium. Then there is berberine. So these two supplements are good for insulin sensitivity. Then there are certain supplements which can reduce inflammation in your body and again can be useful. Supplements like curcumin or omega-3 fatty acids are again very wonderful that can be useful. Certain antioxidants like alpha lipoic acid again is wonderful that can be helpful for again preventing you getting the diabetes. So you see, you can do all of these things that can be helpful in preventing you getting from diabetes, especially if you do have a thyroid disorder. So don't mean that if you have a thyroid disorder that you are going to get diabetes, do these things and that will be helpful. I hope you like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.